Hello guys, I'm Dailyfix. Welcome back to the second episode of my Evil Line playthrough. Uh, we're still in the station. Uh, let's take a look at... Wow, we actually did uh, ramp up three days from the skilling queue. Let's take a look at that history. So what happened uh, after we left... Uh, Amar Frigate, three energy upgrades, all the way up to three small energy turrets, three social, free connections, two, and motion prediction. Um, as for the rewards, uh, I gained uh, 10,000 skill points, but we also got biology. Uh, and this gives us the 20% bonus to attribute boost duration per skill, which is going to be absolutely fantastic when it comes to the starting gift um i'll most likely at some point just use it 48 hours it uh, will definitely be a lot more so let's uh get that the enforcer expert systems um they provide you with skills uh, total training time of about 50 days which is, you know, it's great. It is absolutely great. Some of them you cannot even use. Uh, salvage drone operations is Omega. And some of them we already have. I, I'm not sure if I want to use them. Uh, I know you could actually use them, but I feel like I would be lying to myself. And I, I really dislike that. So, yeah, let me know what, what to do with these. If you say use them, fine. You know, uh, we, we can always do that. I'm not sure about it myself now biology let's train to one yes do not ask me again how long will that actually take uh 20 minutes uh biology two should be in definitely not a social then uh is that science uh my skills please okay bio no oh, okay 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 fine um we can get this up to Three actually. Uh, next one is one hour and thirty minutes. Let's put it in there. Put it up there. Uh, eight hours thirty-seven. Uh, sure, sure. I'm going to be uh, changing. In all honesty, I'm going to be changing how this uh, is going, and the reason for it is I've been, I've been tinkering a tiny bit of a fit. Um, so, this is the, the, the Punisher Mark 1 uh, with the uh, multi frequency charges. I, I know there is these. Um, what the hell are they? Charges? Yes. Like the. Uh, which one did I use last time? I think it's these guys. Yeah, so it definitely boosts up damage. But yeah, they're, they're a bit more expensive, I believe. Yeah, look at that. 270. How about the others? 300. Ooh, wow. Is no difference, but actually extremely expensive. How about blood? Yeah, that's just that's just idiotic. Not going to happen. So, what's the problem uh, with the fit? Now we need a lot of cap uh, rigs in order to actually become stable. If if I turn them off. Instantly, 2 minutes 10, 2 minutes 15. I actually need a cap battery over here to 1 minute 40. And we're actually using a Mark II. And then it's stable. We do, however, have a micro warp drive. So we're moving around at about 2,220 meters a second, which is not bad at all. Got two heat sinks. And, and I was looking into, like, okay, so... There's a uh, uh, variety of these, uh, variations, and if I go over here, what do we need? Uh, wow, weapon uh, weapon upgrade 4, which also reduces the, the CPU of the weapon turret launches and smart bombs. So, that would help with my weapons. And as time progresses, and we level up skills that actually matter, that for this particular fit, we now have a lot, lot of skills queued up and it will completely break my own promise not to go over like five days but i think these are going to be extremely important especially like getting to four and some of the fives maybe like the seven days 
Phew. Hull upgrades to four. Yeah, I think we'll um we'll just let this be for a while. The um the injector, the booster, which is going to be in here, it gives me a boost in the character skill training. How much? Boost durations, two days. Uh, just gives me a couple of points into these attributes. Okay, that's it. Just a couple of points then. Well, still, you know, here I am complaining while I should not be complaining. Anyway, so the idea of today, uh, and I know this is already um, quite, quite a bit in there. Sorry for that. Uh, is we're going to be going into... Uh, where the hell are you? Career agent programs, exploration. This is going to be very, very fast because the tutorial on this is absolutely horrible. But it is so important. It is extremely important. So let's talk to this particular person. Let's say accept. We're going to be... Um, cannot complete that, of course. Let's go undock. And uh, why is it so important? Well, if I want to run combat sites, I do need to scan. And if I want to go into wormholes, I do need to be able to scan. And if I want to find data sites, relic sites, all of that good stuff, then yeah, that is all going to be quite important. Uh, anomaly training site, let's go. Uh, once we're there, uh, there will be a box. Uh, we'll just loot that box and just uh, hop back in there. Okay, and now the tutorial becomes a bit of a chat box kind of thing. Afterburner on. And let's go open that up. Huge asteroid in the way. Oh, I'm bouncing off it. Great. Come on, mate. You can do this. Oh, for those of you who, who just don't like this. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, if once we have an exploration ship, we can actually see this. I think you can turn these off. For in the probe scanner. Or maybe it's because we actually have it equipped. I don't know. Anyways, let's dock up. Get another mission. Eventually, we'll get a ship. Which is uh, the best, anyways. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's quickly talk. Start that conversation. Request a new one. This will be a lot faster than with the uh, Enforcer. Even though I am a, well, no, quite slow. Okay, so uh, we get another ship. Let's accept that. Close that up. We're going to be assembling the ship. Oh, of course, renaming him would be quite nice. If you want to name my ships, go ahead, do so. Um... I'm not here. Not here. Because why not? Let's get into that. That is uh, definitely quite a nice looking ship. Uh, fitting. Uh, we have this afterburn. Let's put it on there. Uh, we could go with a uh, cargo scanner. But we only have two slots. So that is not going to do that. Because I want to run the, um, the, the relic site and the data site. As for weapons, we can have two hard points for two. Uh, we could use missiles or turrets. And we actually have a bit of a drone base. So maybe getting into drones would not be a bad idea. Because this ship by itself is, is absolutely a joke. I don't think I can actually get it uh, stable. So anyway, let's go on dock. Let's go to the next site. I'll meet you guys there. Oh, this is what the one that I was looking for. Disable sensor overlay. If you can click here. And let's see. All of that junk. Turn it off. It will be uh, off. You can turn it off and on whenever you like. Uh, anyways, let us go through the acceleration. Gate. Of course, it's an acceleration gate. It's not just acceleration. Potatoes, potatoes. I am well aware of that. Okay, so. Yeah, great. Let's go pick that stuff up. 
supplies for exploration. I'm going to be assuming it is the civilian type. Core probe launcher. Uh, definitely a must have for everyone that wants to do it. Okay, I did actually change my hut and I want this to be back over here because I am an absolute idiot. And they are indeed the civilian bits. A bit of a shine, but that's fine. Acceleration gate again. Do not warp out. Do not start equipping it yet. There is. You, you have to go back in here. So it's not going to help you. Okay. So here you go. Yay. All of these sides. Or so they say. Great. Awesome. Let's get out of here. Also, if you press all of these buttons like this, is all very large skill. Uh, if you hit this button and do floating, it's going to be scalable. I definitely recommend just keeping it somewhat tiny so you know what's going on. Now, otherwise, you can click these buttons and you can say enable always above full screen view. Whenever you click that and you do full screen again, at least you know... And you can do that with targets, you can do that with basically everything, but it does block the view of everything else. So, yeah. I don't think that is going to be very beneficial. I'm also going to be moving these just to the sides, even though these are quite nice. At the end of the day, you'll just use this. So, yeah. Let's go acceleration gate again, because he has a lot to say. Uh, what is he talking about this time? Not particularly sure. Fine. I didn't read. And then... Can we do compact mode? Yes, we can. Biology level 1 is done. I'm actually looking forward to the, uh, to the drones. They can do absolutely a gigantic amount of damage. But it's going to be uh, a lot of skilling. So gas rig, great. Let's dock up. Okay, what do we need? Do I need that angular? Don't even know what it is. Go away. Let us... Distance was fine. Name could go higher. Type could go a bit more. Can I change the location from velocity and size? If I do size off and size on. Ah, that's a damn shame. So if someone know how to change this, do let me know. Change order, there you go. Oh, um, I want the velocity uh, above size, there we go. Eventually tag might be important, but kind of depends. Uh, now this is... All jacked up because I was working on that. Uh, anyway, start conversation. There we go. Next one. We do need to make sure to equip all of the things that we just got. Also, um, because of the skill training, we have unseen items, which is the naval version of uh, of some of the ships. Which still, they, they could be interesting. There is a 7.5 bonus to core and combat scanning strength. There is a bonus to energy turrets. 99 reduction in the scanning probe launcher CPU. And a plus 5 relic and data analyzer virus strength. Uh, any differences with this one? Uh, it is the 99% part, I think, that does it. Salvager duration... Oh, and as well, bonus to damage, uh, to turrets, huh? Yeah. Salvage on this? Okay, that's, uh, maybe, maybe in the future, don't know yet. Anyways, uh, fitting. Drop that on there. Uh, actually, just drop it in here. If you hover this, it gives you your base sensor strength. So... Whenever you... Uh, let's simulate that. Remove that. Variations. There's the core of Eve. Let's add you over... Oh, okay. You can only have one, huh? 
Uh, Corvi, if we'll check in. Oh, that's actually that's Omega. That's so stupid. Can I see sa uh, scanning strength? Yeah, five percent. Ten percent. It's it's stupidly expensive. But if you're rich, which I'm not. Then, uh, yeah, look at that. 26.8 million. Uh, and that uses charges. Sorry, need to click that. So, the basic ones have a... Come on, scanning, scanning. Range. Base uh, sensor strength. Does this also, does, uh, does it boost it? Let's see. Let's close that up. It doesn't give you anything. Okay, let's let's do like this. Uh, 65. 73. 72. So the RS core scanning probes would be one better. But look at that. 23 million. <laughs> Stupid. That is so much. Now, there's also, like, these, these smaller modules that you can use to uh, boost. Uh, is it signal amplifier? I don't think so, no. I need to uh, take a look at that. Reactor power diversion. Yeah, I need to look into that. Now, I usually just cut that stuff out because I am not the greatest if it comes to looking. But I think... Oh, it's actually, it's mid-slots, isn't it? Oh my god, well, that took me absolutely forever to find. It is the rangefinders. So, the rangefinders, and I actually had to turn up because I do not have the skills for it. Uh, not even so for the um, show info one, the requirements do need you to get, like, astromatic rangefinder. Um... It, uh, it gives you a 5% scanning bonus. Uh, so now it's 75. And I'm sure there's, there's more of them. But I'm, I'm sick and tired of, um, of, of looking. Oh, because I, I really took a very, very long time looking for it. So yeah. Um, if you want to guide me on this process, do let me know. For now, I'm sick and tired of it. And I just want to quickly um, get into the next uh, mission yeah I don't want to remove that yet okay let's go undock next time we dock that that window will be gone but I'm, I'm just Ooh, that took me so long. That took me absolutely long. Okay, data training site. So, time to launch the drones. Hit this uh, weird ass button over there. Uh, let's go to 8. Actually, just, just, just do once here. Uh, v is the directional. B is the uh, rope scanner. So then I'm moving into direction, and there we go. He is currently going to go ham. Now, if you want to do the career agent project uh, program, just just keep scanning everything. See how many we already got. Like, oh, apart from one, two, three, four, five, just a bunch of them, we have all of them. So I am actually just going ahead and quickly get all of that. Because I do want to get, uh, if you click this, uh, there is scanning. And if you go 50 boxes, you'll uh, you'll actually get some points, which is cool. And usually, it's near of these uh, these bodies. So if you don't don't if you're not lucky on four, just just move it. Or be on 8 and know for sure. Not like me.
There you go, 77. See? Told you. Let's move that down to 1. I should have actually double-clicked to see if it would be on it right now. I didn't. Uh, it should still be fine, though. Yeah. Okay. We'll go for the next one. Just double-click that. Move it over there. There's a couple of bodies in there. It could be over there. It could be somewhere else. I'm thinking, actually, it's probably in the range. Like, over here. I, I might as well just give it an attempt, right? Okay, scan that. So it's this data vault, this data site. There we go. Get it in there, move it to one. I think that's, um, if you go a bit higher, it should be fine. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Not sure about this one. Okay. Uh, there's two bodies. I'm just going to assume it's going to be the one furthest away from me. Keep on one. See what happens. I'll do this once. And I'll think that, uh, that this mini game, because basically it's a mini game. I'll potentially never show it again. Unless I really want to, which I, well, don't think is going to happen anytime soon. Unless we dive into some wormholes, which I'm very, very tempted at. So just put it down around there. I think that should be working. So once the scanning strength is increased, this should go a, a lot faster. But we do need money for that, and I kind of would hate... To lose a gigantic amount of cash. And this is actually a normal relic site. Wait, that's a normal relic site? Interesting. Might as well just attempt that in a second or so. One of you. Like, because... What do all of them say? Yeah, this is relic training. This is a relic site. So this is an actual relic site. <laughs> okay. Might as well just take a bit of a detour over there then. Just um, warp within. And you want to return your active force. Wait, that's not the... Oh, it is a training site. Ah, uh, boo! Okay, let's uh, increase the name here. Relic site. There was a relic site in there. Sword by name. Ah, maybe someone already took it. There is actually a Sencha hideaway. Which is a combat site, which I would love to do. Okay, let's uh, not be in here. It's, can we just see the, uh, the training container is over there? Let's warp to site because, you know, let's just do the tutorial. And I might just equip. See, there's something... Someone else is running sites because we didn't have any signatures. Now it is. A module has run out of charge. Okay, reload. Go. Quickly go and do... Oh, yeah, I'm... Uh, in warp, so you can't do that. Come on. There you go. Go there. Definitely, yeah, stay on four. Let's move you aside. So, training container is going to be in there. We're going to be moving to a distance of, I think, at the minimum, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000. But, but you just want to hug these things. Zoom in. Uh, body is over there. Definitely want to move you on top of that. Go. So, we're now hogging it. You need to target. 
I'm waiting for this to happen, then I will just recall them. Like I said, I want these uh, these points. I'm not going to use them right away, unless you say, like, stop being an idiot and just do it. Then I will. Uh, and reload. Remove you. Uh, training this data. So this is a miniature the game. Um, and some people just immediately go to these points that are 6 days. I cannot scale this window, so hopefully it's going to be large enough. Uh, and some just go from the side. And this number will actually decrease. So this was a 2. It's a 2 over here. So we need to go up. There is a firewall over here. Uh, this is my virus coercion. That is my HP. And the virus strength um, is the amount of damage I will do to it. So yeah. Over here, system core. It's uh, damage to me will be 10. My damage... I think it's 10 as well. Yeah, 10. Now I have 5. He is 10. But I'm the first hitter. X successful. And proof. Yay. This will potentially explode. Will it? Yeah, it will. Come on. Go boom. You want to. Come on. Is it really? Am I going to wait for it? Okay, this is taking me too, way too long. Okay, go. Go back. That's too long. Another cosmic signature has appeared. Yeah, with this training, this strength is going to be a bit of a joke. Uh, we got 10 out of 10. We need 25 and 50. That will just go over time. Uh, the hacking, the scanning, wormholes, gas sites. Um, this is entering a gas site. Just If you find one. I think you can actually do it with a training site. If you just fly to one and then go away. I think you should actually get that count up. What's in here? Uh, in here there is the scanning range finder. Which I had extreme difficulties finding. So yeah. Uh, you. Talk to you. Complete that mission. Request the next one. Accept that. Close. Undock. And warp the side because we already scanned all of them down. We can just basically go to the next one. Uh, is there gas sites in here? I do want to try that. Once we're done, we'll just quickly go from one side to the other side and see if it counts up. And if that actually is the case, then uh, yeah, we'll have that done really quickly. Now, the advanced one, I think you can only do in null sec. So that might be a while. Now, there are these uh, plugs you can use to jump to a quote-unquote quiet site in Nullsack. And we might end up doing that. How would I call again? I think it's Needle Jacks. Uh, Jack. Yeah, Needle Jacks. I think the five one, the, no uh, the noise or signal, one of the other. I need to... Look it up again. Which one it is that I need? Um, like I said, it's been way too long. Uh, of course, we now need to use the relic analyzer. Same game. Uh, it starts perfectly. Oh, system core right over there. That's great. Way to go, game. Thank you. Uh, let's dock. Yeah, once this is done, I'll quickly go and check out the gas sites. Um, we need to find where would be the best location or the best place for us to buy everything we need. Now, there's a trade port in Amar. I know Jira is one of the best. Or, no, actually, it's not really like the best. It's just the most common trade Docking port around. Uh, also, this this we need to change eventually. We need to change the D scanner. Uh, start conversation. Complete that mission. Request the mission. 
Now we're going to, I think, like a gas site. So, accept that. We'll get a ship. We get the gas key. Definitely not forget that. Let's undock. And then we can actually check it out. So, oh, Explorer. Um, advanced hacking. Yeah, null sack wormhole. Wormhole is not the highest issue. I just don't like the other two. Um, <laughs> bad memories. No. Just, uh, we have to be a bit more careful. Now, since I'm not Omega, I cannot use, like, covert ops, uh, cloaking device and stuff like that. So, luckily, these ships... Uh, usually aren't too expensive. So we'll, um, we'll, as, we'll definitely have to create one. And I'm going to be adding drones just to see uh, which skills uh, we would require. Acceleration guide. Let's uh, go. Uh, we're currently at a gas training site. So if this is going to be... Site. We should actually see that uh, pop up. I don't think that's going to be the case though. Training container, let's go. Accept that. Dock up. Check it out again. Entering gas site now. Uh, if you do happen to find one, uh, just just bookmark a location to warp to. That's definitely nearby and I warp every time back if you do it 15 times should be enough uh, this will give you a small gravity capacitor upgrade uh, and some credits this will give you credits uh, survey scanner what a survey scanner okay fine I guess I guess it's not only for ores didn't know that that's fine like I said, it's been such a long time since I actually, um... Wait. I'm stuck in, I'm stuck in the station, that's fine. Um... Okay, fine. Click into a random direction. Turn that on. Imperial. That's over there. Move downwards. Basically, I think it's the gas. It's just... Uh, it's having difficulties. It's fine. Okay, now we should be fine. So once we're there... I think... I do want to do something like a bit of a fit. And we're going to be buying the, uh, the fitting for the Punisher. How much money do we actually have? Uh, 5.1 million. That's not a whole lot to play around with. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Training, training, asteroid belt remnants. Need to look those up. Um, they are sites. I just don't know if it's what what type of a site it is. So we get a torment to get some money. Accomplish that mission. Close that up. Agent done. Quickly take another look. No, that didn't upgrade. Let's claim all of these rewards. Uh, range finder all the way down to that one. Uh, we also get the expert system for the explorer. So I'll just let that be, like I said. Okay, let's, um, let's take a look at what we could do. With our limited financial means when it comes to fitting. Okay, so I came up basically with this. Uh, and I know I can't use it. Uh, basically, uh, the problem that we have is I, I wanted to show you that we could actually do something with these high slots other than just adding weapons. And the uh, drone augmentation. Uh, we now have a control range which is absolutely biz uh, bizarre because... We can only target like 37, so definitely don't need both of these. Uh, we could potentially go lower, but we can now steer our drones 50 kilometers away if we wanted to do some form of combat. Of course, we're not going to do that. Now, I wanted to have my align time 
as close to zero as possible. I can not get it any higher than this one. I think this might be Omega. I'm not sure. Actually, we should be able to do that. Let's um, remove that. Why did I not test that? I just assumed we could not use that. So let's see how far we can actually get that. Three. Ah, it's close. Close, 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 close. 75 sensor strength due to the small gravity capacitor upgrades. Let's remove you. 71. Uh, we could actually add... Uh, if we go to... Astromatics. Uh, let's see. I want to be... If, if possible. Oh, we can just barely get that. That is so mean. That is mean. This... I think this would still count as like... A five second warp out. Now I think the ships need about five seconds to target you. And and it would do that. What if I do two of them? Three. Okay, so I, I cannot go below four then. Fine, I don't need that. Go away. Um, still, definitely do not want to be using all of this money. I just wanted to just quickly take a look at what would be possible for us. Uh, there's definitely better analyzers like the uh, the number two, but that's Omega. Uh, you also have... Yeah, are these also Omega? No, these are not. Are they actually doing the same? Yeah, potentially. Virus coercion is 2020. And this one is 5025, actually. Oh, okay. Why? Why is that so high? It's probably due to the skills of the ship. Anyways, uh, let us quickly remove this. Make this a bit of a cheap one. Now, since we are most likely not going to be going into low null sec or wormhole space anytime soon. We could also add something that will boost our warping speed. Nah. Let's do it like this, whatever. Diminished return. Yeah, well, that's fine. Drone avionics can be removed. Um, yeah. Something... This? We'll bring it up to 75. Okay, what's the main issue? Capacity overload. Don't need that in my life then. Just two. So, the strength is 71. That is a lot higher, and it will cost me uh, 1.8 million to buy it. And that is an assessment, because you can see that right now. The prices in this system are stupidly expensive, and we're also getting way too many of these. Bring it down to 16. What else can we remove? Don't need you. Go away. Let's take a look. What can we get from our own fit? This is the micro warp drive. The five. Oh. Alright, oh, that's just an afterburner. Anything that we can use? Mm. Ah, no. I think that we do need to get to uh, like a mark. I did not save the fit, which is fine. I'll just do that uh, at some point. Let's, let's get into this ship. How expensive is the fit going to be here that I made? 2.5 million. Seriously? Well, we, we are not going to be getting anything here, I guess. Wow, that is seriously expensive. Okay, never mind. Uh, it seems that we are going to be going on a trip to to a mar. We might even bring the stuff back. Um, I believe that I have that in locations. Um, default. Okay, set destination. Just a couple of jumps. Uh, that's fine. We'll definitely be back here. Let's undock. Uh, I'll meet you guys in a mar, but I'm already overshooting my um, 
my one hour recording, if you can actually imagine that. I'm hoping for you guys that I can actually get a lot of, um, of me tinkering of that. Uh, and then, I think next time, then next time we're going to be looking for combat sites, uh, relic sites, data sites. Even if it's training sites, I think they do. The training sites did actually count for something, right? Mm. Hacking? No, definitely not. Never mind. I am actually going to be taking this game slow. I was actually thinking about getting into cruiser ASAP oh, but I just I don't want to rush it let's look that in place compact mode no I can't there's no compact mode okay so we actually made it to the trade hop in Omar let's take a look current station yeah okay 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 um, let's remove the the Punisher Small focused modular. Wait, that, 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 these are those weapons, right? Um, let's take a look. Pulse energy beam one. So we don't need those. Let's remove you. I'm such a dumbass. Absolutely, I'm in here. I'm and I'm thinking I can do it like this. I'm sorry. I I do mess around quite a bit. Uh, I do apologize. Don't need that. I know that I have it. All of the others, 3.13 million. Let's buy it. Cancel that. And we're going to fit that with actual drifts. Uh, don't need that, go away. Yes. So these are the gathering poles, overdrive injectors, stasis web, small uh, during armor repairing could have done without. Multi frequency and what are we lacking? Few market details. Okay, why did you not buy it? Buy that place, yes. Yeah, it's it's expensive, I know. Stable, there we go. We are finally stable. We have in the hold, all of these, uh, all of the guns, there we go, we now have a bit of a cuvette, the Punisher Mark 1 is, uh, is finally ours, uh, we'll be using these for the, um, the lowest amount, okay, dogs again, so, uh, we are going to be doing the, the lowest amount of the lowest, uh, combat site, uh, which is... Uh, let's quickly take a look. I think it's the hideaway. Yeah, the hideaway. Sencha hideaway. They have an option to open up a free of 10. That is not going to be doable. Um, I want to do the hideaway and the clusters first. So I do want to get myself a notepad. Do we have notepads? They used to have notepads. Uh, notepad. Yeah, there you go. Put it in there somewhere. Notepad. So... New notepad. Uh, combat sites. And it's going to be the hideaway. And it is going to be the, uh, the drone, uh, the clusters. So, clusters. Clusters. There we go. So these are the two combat sites that we will be doing since this is a starting ship. I don't know what to expect. Okay. So you <laughs> just have to bear with me. I uh, would love to see any sort of feedback on this fit. Uh, I do want to run it stable because I'm an idiot. So yeah, eventually I will actually get myself uh, killed. Can I repackage these and sell them? I want to keep that and this. Don't care much for the others. Sell this. Yeah, it's not even worth selling. Let's uh, reprocess it. 
There we go. Got some minerals. Uh, we'll definitely want to keep those. I want to get a lot of minerals. Uh, you as well. Reprocess. I don't know why you didn't, but that's fine. Could we get the fit? Um, I didn't save the fit. Let me quickly go and do the um, the other fit, and then we'll end the episode. Okay, that's that's going to be the fit. I chose the um, the restraint one because my signature wasn't going to two seventy. Uh, but still remains small. Of course, flying uh, without one, this does give you an align time of uh, three seconds. But come on, man. Everyone needs one of these. So we got the uh, the strength here of 71, uh, which is definitely better than what we have now. We have the align time, so I can actually get used to it. Eventually, over time, with the, um, with the training of skills... Uh, definitely, this might be faster than that. I'm hoping... At some point to get low, just below 4 seconds. So if some hostile pops up, um, it um, will not directly kill me. The, let's sell, can we just buy all of this stuff and just bring it with us? I'm very much considering actually to just move home base. 1.4 million, we have 2.3. Uh, we're going to be buying all of that. You and you... Can I put you in there? Actually, I can. Yeah, well, that's not bad either. Could I move all of this? Yes, we can actually just move everything over. And just stay in that uh, area. Uh, let's save this as um, I'm not here. Fitting, Mark 1. Uh, not here, Mark 1. Save. Uh, I'll go back to where my stuff actually is. Apparently, I haven't... Oh, this is a Corvette. Um, yeah, go away. No items there. Let's go over there, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.